So this case is the case of Matthew Pike. So Matthew was 20 years old and he had a girlfriend named Joanna. They had just got their own flat above a pub and like they were starting their lives together. And they were really avid gamers and so much so that they created their own forum for this one particular game. I forget the game. Is it? Oh, is this recently? Um, yeah. Oh, mad. Yeah. What, in England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Have you heard of it? Nah. Okay, good. Um, so they made this forum and it started to attract other people that are interested in this game and they started making like online friends through it and then there was this one guy called Eagle the Lightning and he became like a real friend of theirs and like they added him on Facebook, his name was David Heiss and quickly his interest changed from Matthew to his girlfriend Joanna who was also on this gaming forum whatever and it became quite clear that he had a bit of a crush on Joanna and Matthew didn't really care. He was like, no, it's just some guy from a different country that's just obsessed with my girlfriend. It's fine. Um, and then one day, they go on holiday, do Joanna and Matthew, and they return home back to their flat. And David Heiss is outside their door. Oh, fuck mm. off. Red flag already. And so they were like, how on earth did you find where we live? And he was like, oh, don't, don't worry about it. So they think that he'd like stalked joanna through like pictures on her facebook because this was way before you could like check in at certain places yeah so like if there's like a number on a door behind her it like zoomed in and like tried to find her that way and so he came to their house and they felt really bad because they were like oh maybe maybe just don't have any friends back at home he was from germany and they were like fine you can stay with us for a few days but then you've got to go back so he stayed with them and he went back and Everything was fine. They were just friends again. He carried on messaging Joanna, but then the intensity built and built and built again. And he was just messaging and nonstop saying like, I really like you. Like you should be with me and not Matthew. Like, um, I'll come to the UK and we can like run away together or you can come to Germany. And she's like, no. So anyway, Joanna goes to work one day and she comes home and she opens her front door and there's blood everywhere, all over the corridor in front of her. And so she follows this like blood trail to their office room. And as soon as she opens the door, Matthew is dead on the floor. She found her own boyfriend dead. Wow. Um, and so police came, they were looking at the scene and everything. And Joanna was thinking who this could be, because at this point, David had left them alone for a few months. Um, and police quickly found in this kind of crime scene, they looked down the side of his desk because this was in his office and they found on the side of it, he'd written in his own blood as he was dying, the letters D-A-V. And so they went to Joanna and they said, does this mean anything to you? And she knew exactly what it meant, that it was David Heiss. Fuck. And so David was brought back over to the UK and arrested there. He completely admitted it. He was like, yeah. Wow. Well, how did he but, kill him? Like stabbed him? Yeah. Something around 87 times. Wow. Fucking hell. No wonder he only got to DAV. Jesus Christ. That's fucking scary. I always find it really weird when, like, you walk into a house, you see blood, and you follow it. I see blood, I leave. Yeah. It depends if you're in love with someone. You know depends I mean? if you're a little pussy or not. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I'll happily <laughs> <you> No. <know. laughs> Fuck that. Because uh, if there's blood there, the killer could still be there. And as you said, she didn't think of David instantly. Your partner, so to yeah. her, your partner could still be alive. Uh, leave her to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing anyone's TV? Because if, if you are, uh, leave. <laughs> what, so She's all right. So had he done it and then gone back to Germany? Yeah. Fucking hell. I don't understand. Obviously, you've got to be mental to kill someone uh, and especially kill, stab them 87 times. Yeah. But in what realm are you ever going to go to a girl, you should be with me, and she says no, and then you go, right, stab up the boyfriend, now be with me, and yeah. expect her to go, well, well, you've charmed me. Do you but know what also, I mean? <laughs> they don't know if his intention was to kill just Matthew. Oh, to kill Because the pair of them. it seemed as though he'd come to the door, just open the door, and then... David had immediately started stabbing him there in the doorway because that's where the blood started. So if she yeah. was there as so well. it could have been just Joanna, it could have been just Matthew, it could have been both of them that he killed. Fuck. So he's so still in prison to this day? I hope so. Shit. Oh, yeah. don't, so. don't make friends online, What's guys. his name? Uh, the killer or the guy? Yeah, the killer. David Heiss. David Heiss. I've always... Um, like H-E-I-S-S or something? I've yeah. always kind of wo wondered how it works with like police... But in other look, countries. Browse. Yeah, it's where the crime is. They'll extradite them there. So they can be forced to come back there. over. But he's wow. technically, he could be safe in another country. What's happened? Like German police couldn't do anything to him for it. Yeah. 
Matthew I Pike, think. he was the guy that died, right? Yeah. He was from Stone Market. Really? Yeah, which is not us. That's very close to us. Yeah. Suffolk. Uh, he, although he had resided in Nottingham since 2006. He was murdered by 20... Yeah, shit. Look at the... Is this... Oh, look at the... That's the guy that killed, right? Yeah. Cool. Wow. He looks like a gamer. Yeah. He does look like a killer. Oh, hang on. <laughs> he looks like a kid. He looks a bit like I'm Alex. He, he, he doesn't. He's just got a friend. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh man. I'm just looking at the pictures now, so this is not as entertaining for the I audience played, as I've played for World me, of Warcraft for ten years and now scared who I made friends with. Yeah. They're out to get me. I'm starting to worry about, you about me. all that all the Habo lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the people Good that you ripped off. <laughs> oh, all that you scam. Funky penguin, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> them, tw- uh, them twenty five snow uh, patches, they were yours. You did get uh, thirteen. Dear. I just thought I live with you, so I'm gonna be the dickhead that answers the door and just stabs <laughs> out. Oh. Only on happy hour can you tell a story Never about even. someone being stabbed 87 times to death to then go on about Habbo Hotel. <laughs> Classic Jack. <laughs> I'll give you your Black Dragon lamp back. <laughs> there you go. There we go. That was the story of David Ice.